Hello Yu-Gi-Oh players, and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! This is Casual, I'm your host, the RJB0, and I am coming at you from Midway Airport, where it's extremely noisy, I apologize for that, but I'm making this video partially, well, mostly because I'm extremely bored. I have a three-hour delay on my flight, so I'm not going to be out here for a long time, and I feel like making this video because I saw what I thought was a really interesting and kind of cool phenomenon at Nats, where people were actually bringing back a monster that... I've always thought it was really cool, and I thought, until very recently, was entirely forgotten by the meta. He is the one-man army, the lost psychic, thought ruler, Archfiend. Looking for now, Tristan Bragg? This card is way underrated, and you don't see him around as much as I think you, I personally what think you should. Um, part of the reason why I say that this card is way underrated was because I had first-hand experience winning games with this card. Against evil swarms and even against dragons, I actually ended games with 10,000 or more life points because Thought Ruler Archfiend was carrying the game for me. Now there are a couple of reasons why Thought Ruler is so amazing. He's got a pretty beefy set of stats for his for his ability to protect himself, which you don't see very often with monsters like that. Say like Stellar Omega, which only has 2,400 attack points and has kind of protection effect. Stardust only has 25, but Thought Ruler has, has a nice 27, which can run over a good number of monsters. Not to mention the fact that he actually feeds into his own effect. When you do manage to run over monsters with him, he actually gives you back whatever the cost for his effect was. So, while he does have kind of a hefty cost, Looking effect, for Joe from and because Diego? he isn't the biggest monster in the world, Joe I think that people often Diego? forget about him. But, personally, when I was playing against Evil Swarms, I'd get him out, and they wouldn't have any outs for it, mostly because a lot of the outs for extra deck cards right now target. In Evil Swarms, you see things like Deep Prisons, and in most decks right now, you see the Triple Compulse thing happening, and they think that they're safe because of that, uh, of that compulsory they have set. They're ready for you to summon something that, you know, they can get rid of with Compulse. If you summon that Thought Root Archery, they don't have the out for it anymore. They don't have their Compulse available, they don't have their Deep Prisons. I even once had negated a Forbidden Lance when they, had, when they tried to use it. It was just very, very good. I personally had a bit of an edge because I was able to use Prism to summon him, giving him 3,700 attack points instead of just 27, which really helped, especially when they tried to use things like Forbidden Dress and Forbidden Lance on him. But really, if you think about it, this card can actually carry an entire deck by himself if you engineer it correctly. The reason being, the only things he's really, um, he's really um, weak to are destruction effects, things like bottomless and mirror force and torrential things that don't target, and then monster effects. These are two things that are actually covered by the same card, Forbidden Dress. If you want to actually use that in your deck, if you summon him, they go for the bottomless, they're going to think that they're safe. If you've got that dress, you've still got probably one of the better boss monsters in the game on the board. He is available to you to use his, his effect to run over monsters and generate more life points. You could even add in another card that I think has been forgotten over the ages, My Body as a Shield, which once again has an extremely hefty price of 1,500 life points, but Thought Ruler has the added advantage, once again, of adding all of that back. So he really pays off the cost of pretty much all the cards that he uses to protect him. I'm sorry about what's going on behind me. So, I think that Thought Ruler is actually a really amazing card, and I'm really surprised to see that people haven't been using it recently, when there's so much that you can do to protect him with Veiler, Forbidden Chalice, Forbidden Dress, Forbidden Lance, um, My Body is a Shield, all of these things are extremely viable um, for use with Thought Ruler Archfiend. And the extra advantage that you have with Forbidden Less and Forbidden Forbidden Less, Forbidden Dress and Forbidden Lance, is that they allow you to actually get his other effect if you really want. If your opponent's going to run over him with, with one of their monsters, you can actually for Forbidden, forbidden Dress their monster, Forbidden Lance it, and then your Thought Ruler runs it over, and then you gain that monster's attack points back in life points, which can be huge, because it takes 2,800 to run this guy over. So if you want to run over an Apostle monster with this that could beat him normally, you're gaining more than 2,700 life points back. That is amazing, and particularly considering that that really sets you up for your win conditions later. They can't, if they can't put anything on the board, that will just take you down. If you've got like 1,500 life points, they're going to be in an extremely difficult situation, and it gives you a leeway to produce more Thought Ruler Archfiends. There are just a lot of crazy cool things you can do with this card. I'd be really excited to see if you guys come up with some interesting ideas to make a deck around him, um, and I might try it myself. 
So that's what I have for you guys. I'm just kind of bored right now. I thought I'd make you guys a video. I will have my Nats report and deck profile for the um, deck that I ran at Nats later, probably tomorrow. You're probably actually getting this um, video later tonight because I don't have internet here at the airport. Um, so that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, let me know why. Hit those comment section below me. And if you really want to talk a little more, you can hit the Facebook uh, page, which I have a link for below. Anyway, thank you guys for watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Business Casual. I'm your host, the RJB Zero, and I got a jet. See you guys.